the devil greets you with a slight nod. He is clearly willing to talk. Commander, you can ask me anything. I like to educate mortals about my homeland and about devils in general. Hmm. So tell me about yourself. Who are you and where are you from? Well, I'm always willing to talk about myself. I am called Meles. I am a devil, and I serve the archdevil Mephistopheles. I've arrived with my unit from Cana, the eighth level of hell. Lord Mephistopheles is extremely interested in the crusade. He is confident there are many contracts to be made here, all of a mutually beneficial nature, of course. Cana, the skeleton of hell. It is all bones and no flesh. Nothing there is in excess, and still it's mysterious. Darkness, cages, and platforms hanging in the emptiness. Giant spikes with bases hidden in the gloom. Giant monoliths connected by a complex network of bridges. It can appear as though Cana has no earth or sky. There are clouds of smoke above and darkness below, yet still, Cana is inhabited by an assortment of fascinating devils, ice gelagons, demi vigas, the taunt the arrogant. Those are as useful as they are amusing. Tell me about hell. What is it like there? Thank you for asking. That's an excellent question. The devil smiles, revealing his sharp fangs. Hell is a plane of existence unlike any other. It did not come into being on its own. It was made for purpose. Its creator is unknown, but its purpose is unmistakably clear. Hell is a plane where evil is made manifest. But there is also order. This is not the chaotic, senseless evil of the abyss. We do not torture or subjugate others because we revel in their suffering. No, we do this to fulfill our duty. If a soul entirely free of sin were to enter hell, we would have no power over it. We can only bow to such a soul in admission of defeat. Strictly speaking, hell is not one plane, but nine overlapping planes. Each one is ruled by its own archdevil and each one has its purpose. Thanks to our Lord Asmodeus, order reigns triumphant throughout the land. Perhaps you are not accustomed to such orders, and it might appear overly harsh, but someone has to be a villain to preserve the balance. Wouldn't you agree? The devil smiles innocently, showing his long fangs. What's the difference between devils and demons? In Excellent question, Commander. Devils differ from demons as much as dwarves differ from humans. We devils are creatures of discipline. Evil souls that go to hell are subjected to torture until they lose their memory, themselves, and everything that used to constitute their so-called personality. From the depths of humiliation, we are resurrected, renewed, purified. The devil gestures to himself, the rings on his fingers glinting, mighty, proud. This is a difficult path, but it gives us more strength and power than we could have ever dreamed of when we were merely worthless mortals. As for demons, they are just souls that were trapped in the abyss and became lava. They would have remained meaningless lumps of flesh and slime, but someone whose name has long been forgotten conducted some experiments. They crossbred larva with the Quilpoff, the native inhabitants of the abyss. Then the abyss itself reproduced the results of these experiments, creating more of these creatures. You've seen the results. The devil winces. Chaotic, evil creatures, slaves to their passions. Do you remember who you were before you became a devil? The devil looks at you curiously. No one has ever asked me that before. If I were not a creature of evil, I might even find such a question touching. Unfortunately, I can't give you an answer. Devils don't remember such trifles. I am a spawn of suffering, rage, and hatred. And in a flash of white fire, everything else was burned out of me. I consider it a reward, and I am proud that I pass through those trials with honor. Is there any way to become a devil without going through torture? 
The devil gives a deep, resounding laugh and claps his hands. Oh, 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 Commander, I haven't been such a resourceful mortal in a long while. Well, I can't say there is no ways around it, but you do understand. It's a delicate situation, and such a special offer isn't extended to just anyone. He looks at you more seriously. Maybe... For someone extraordinary, someone who proved their worth during their lifetime, I could... Well, it's too early to discuss that. I would need time to look into things further. Have you ever met Lord Asmodeus himself? What is he like? Oh, profound respect fills the devil's voice. When his followers greet each other with the words, Asmodeus is great. They have no idea how true it is. The Lord of the pit is not merely great. He is the embodiment of greatness and power. He is the perfect example, the one which any mortal monarch can only hope to imitate. He inspires terror and makes you feel safe at the same time. Those who have had the honor of meeting the Prince of Darkness have never again felt afraid of demons or of any other spawn of chaos. They know. So long as Asmodeus lives, the cosmos is in good hands. You ask extremely interesting questions, Commander. I look forward to it. What will happen to a soldier who signs your contract? interesting and unusual things the devil who signs the contract acting on behalf of hell is obligated to give the mortal hair and after referred to as the soul seller strength surpassing the abilities of mortals until the moment of death at the moment of the soul seller's death their soul is collected by the devil in full compliance with section three of the agreement it will henceforth be considered the property of hell which will have full ownership of the soul for all eternity. Furthermore, the devils and archdevils on behalf of hell have the right to do with such property as they see fit. You can always familiarize yourself with the small print by reading a sample of the contract. Don't worry, Commander. We only sign contracts with those who are legally capable, adult persons of sound mind and memory, or at least those who consider themselves as such. You can look over the full text in this copy of the agreement. The devil smiles. I'll always be close by, Commander, if there's anything else you wish to ask.